open and sitting upright. If you've been sitting like that already, you can continue to sit like that. And those who haven't muted their cameras yet, you can please mute your device, camera, phone, anything like that. Otherwise it scratches and beams the whole class through. Big ins, big exhales, check that your uh, system is muted. That would be in one of the two corners. You could do it in the top right or the bottom left corner, I think. slouch one or the other we could to a fair amount decide on how we react or don't react in a given situation we can choose how to breathe we are designed to be able to breathe we can take a whole life without taking a decent breath we're exploring better or more fulfilled version of what our design is as a human being, as a breather, I mean, how is our structure, relaxed, upright, tight, loose, breathing frequently or not breathing so much, so feeling these orientations, we orient ourselves to our breath, our posture, the structure and then bringing our attention to the time which is just after nine o'clock on a Saturday morning and then what we call space-time orientation we are in a certain time zone there's also the orientation of the space where are we on the planet some parts of the world is in the dark at night and for others it's evening, for us it's morning, raising the crown, relax your shoulders and opening the eyes if you had your eyes closed and we move the arms in a wide easy movement, we could move a bit faster but don't go very fast, you could maybe even go slower if you feel like it and feel that we definitely suddenly working in a way that's starting to help to loosen the shoulder muscles so even if your muscles are feeling a little tight you can move the head more left or right to see how you could do this so that it's more comfortable for you change the direction to the other side and bending the elbows and moving much more gently keep moving like that keep moving, keep moving keep moving a little faster changing direction and going much faster super fast your fastest sprinting your fastest with a big exhale 
going even faster. Catch your breath to go super fast. Slowing down. And long legs to the front. With the legs long to the front, let's point the toes down. And then stretching towards the feet down to push the hands into the feet down. Upright inhale. Point the toes at your side if you're gently pressing the knees down with the crown up. Uh, placing the feet, the legs crossed the other way around. We pull the shoulders to the back one arm at a time, one side at a time. Shoulders back more. Loosen your head, neck, and shoulders more. Taking the arms to horizontal. Outstretched sideways, large breath, crown up, chin tucked in. With your eyes closed, feel the meter and a half or so width, fingertip to fingertip. Big in, big exhale, feel your meter or so in your height. Big in, big exhale from the ground to the crown. And feel internally the cubic centimeters of space in the lungs when we are breathing full in breath. And the whole space decreasing in size when you exhale. Resting with the hands to palms open, wrists on the knees. And feeling yourself at this particular beginning of the session of this particular yoga class. We're about to explore the potential of movement, breath, awareness, consciousness. Big in-breath, hold the body full of the breath. And while you hold the breath, relax the body. And we will see that it's possible to add to the cubic centimeter size of your breath and the height of your body and the relaxedness at the neck and the looseness of your shoulders and taking a large exhale with the mouth. And noticing that your mind, your thoughts, your body has awareness of a whole range of events, things that are happening around us. With the shoulders quite a bit more relaxed, let the body loosen and let the muscles around the vertebra, the back of the neck, loosen its grip on the head and neck and shoulders. Taking the legs long out to the front again, pull the one hand with the other hand, crown up, Shoulders down, chin tucked in. Relax the body as you stretch a little bit harder on the out breath. Sit more upright and pull harder. Point the toes at yourself, pull even harder. Relax the shoulders more. Changing to the other arm, hand, shoulders. And the same awareness of instruction, crown up, shoulders relaxed. Head tilted forward slightly, chin slightly tucked in. Raising the crown, back of the neck long, shoulders are soft and free. Easiest of in exhales, softer head, neck and shoulders, relax those areas. Feet to diamond shaped butterfly. As we lean forward, we're pressing the elbows and forearms into the top inside of the leg that's pointing up to the top. Hands to under the feet, bring the knees up a little bit. As you relax forward, let the knees sink towards the floor and your head towards the feet. Let's rock to the left and to the right. Let's pull a little bit harder. Coming up on the in-breath, taking the legs long far to the front and down to the elbows and forearms, push the shoulders back, let the legs be floppy, face open up to the sky, big exhale, then lift the head so that you're looking at your ankles and your legs lying ahead of you. Keep looking down, you're straightening the arms to the back. 
bending the knees, we're twisting to our right side, your right side, mirror me. Bring the knees up to inhale and to other side, exhale. And then inhale to the top, upright, sitting upright to the crown. And a twist, crown up, shoulders are down, we've got the legs long ahead of us, strong ankles. Toes pointing at ourselves, strong arms. Feel strength in your joints. Be aware of developing flexibility in our joints as well. Crown up, chin down. Deep in breath, powerful exhale. Turning to the front. Relax there. Change to turn to the other side. Crown up, shoulders down. Deepest in breath, biggest exhale, crown up, chin tucked in, back of the neck long, stretching a little harder, big in, big sigh, turn forward, crossing the legs and be sure that you're sitting strong, comfortably in your cross leg position and we're going to twist hard and fast Excuse me, each exhale into the elbows, out breath, out breath. Keep going into the elbows, to the twists. Big exhales, a little faster, a little harder, and then a lot looser. Big in, big side. Arms up above the head, uncross the legs, cross the other way. Stretch the fingers, the palms open, big in breath, big exhale. Putting the hands, fingers interlaced at the back of the head. And we're rocking to the sides. Sit bone going up on each side. Elbows to the sides. Deeper breath. Big exhale. And then the arms up. Deep in, big exhale. Big waving through the space above us and to the sides of us. And going as far as you can, almost falling over to the side, arms to horizontal and we're still moving that way, and then the hands down to the sides, feet wide as our yoga mat, so a little wider than our body, same with the hands, starting to lift up and then going up and up and up till we're reaching towards the coffee table, so the shoulders are back, chest is open, when you look at your thighs, you can see that your hips could go higher up and when you raise the face to horizontal to the roof you can see that the back of the neck could be longer and the shoulders down more chest up more deepest in biggest out breath back of the neck long to lie down on the ground on the forearms knees still bent Raise up your right leg and flex into the heel. Bring the knee towards your head, but you keep pushing the leg straight at the heel. The shoulders are more up to the ears than usual. Push, uh, place the foot down. Big and big exhale, pushing the legs gently to the ground. Feet, other leg. You can feel the shoulders are pushing gently up to the ears. Flexing. The other leg now, the left one up to the roof, chin tucked in. Knee moving towards your face, big out breath. Putting the foot to the floor. And removing the elbows to roll down slowly until you flatten the ground. Big in, big exhale with your palms open next to you, back of the neck long. Next inhale, put the arms up above your head, soft at the shoulders, elbows bent, exhale, elbows next to your ears more or less, let your head roll left and right so you can be sure that the neck muscles have has released, big in big exhale, let the breath slow to a large full breath, Big slow exhale. And 
gently hug the head up to the knees, squeezing the breath out, squeeze to the left and the right as you roll, small roll. On the inhale, it's all the way up. On the next inhale, hands and knees, large exhale, and two, dark stretch with the arms forward, chest to the ground, big and big exhale. You're looking at your thumbs, you're squeezing between the shoulder blades, and you're stretching more, not less. You're relaxing more, not getting tensed up, but loosened up. Pushing down harder, bending the arms, the elbows, or the shoulders, or wherever you need to adjust, so that all in all, you become a creature of comfort, comfortable creature in your body. And then as you relax your shoulders, make sure that you stay in the posture with the greatest ease, so you're comfortable, you're deep in the position, your forehead to the mat. And your posture is more relaxed, more at ease. And when we come up from there, it's to the inhale. And on the inhale, we upright with the toes tucked under. And if you're all right with that position, you can stay there with the one hand resting in the other and thumbs up together. The thumbs touching, the one hand, knuckles resting in the other hand, palm and fingers. If you can't manage that position, you can be on high knees. Else you can kneel down and your toes tucked under. And then bringing your attention to your upright straightness, your vertical position. Relax the head, neck and shoulders a lot more. With a large exhale, soft the shoulders. Change to put the other hand at the bottom. Let's take the largest possible breath in and exhale. Exhale and inhale. One leading and following into the next. Flowing river. river. Slowly moving forward to lie on the belly and the forearms. So the feet are to the back, the elbows are to the front. Deep in breath, big exhale. So we have a cobra. You can have the hands joined, shoulders are down, deep in, big exhale. We know what the cobra looks like when another person does it. It's with a back bend and the upper body lift, tit, lifted. With the eyes closed, the angle of your face is so that you would have been looking forward where your eyes open. And the arms are strong enough that you're not just uh, resting down in the posture, but you're also pushing up towards the crown, but you're not forcing the head back, which could cause damage to the back of the neck, spine. And become aware that you could lengthen the abdomen away from the hips towards where the lower ribs are. You could also push the feet to the back to do so. Biggest in and a big exhale. Let the head tilt forward so that you can open your eyes and see your hands. Let the red head, the head go rest of the way down so you're looking towards uh, where your ribs are, or the yoga mat just ahead of your chest. And then raise the head so that you could effortlessly look forward and have a feeling of range of motion, perhaps not in this position, but your range of motion increasing after this position. So we have a goal, we have a plan direction where we're going with our practice big exhale using the arms to push ourselves up a little bit higher 
we can straighten the arm simultaneously we can also lift the hips slightly so that the back bend arch doesn't feel severe then do lift the hips all the way up and slowly bringing the legs through to the front to sit with legs across one in the front of the opposite side shin with a large exhale putting your hands on the midline at the front ankle and then with your eyes closed back of the neck long feel yourself where you are at at this moment in time in your body in your breath in your mind big exhale feel the space your uprightness side to side awareness and inside awareness and feel that the duration of the breath requires a certain amount of time and it takes a longer time to take a longer slower and deeper breath relax the head neck and shoulders a little bit additionally and then stretching up to be more tall longer crown up chin tucked in and as you begin to lean forward you can go on the fingertips big exhale relax your shoulders let your head lean forward with the crown and then a little bit further by a few centimeters one arm at a time Placing the palms down and crawl forward with the hands, reaching forward along your mat, with your head hanging down to release the back of the neck, head and shoulders. And the release is down because gravity is under your body, under your shoulders. The force of that gravity helps you relax deeper, lower profile. And rolling up to all the way on the inhale to sit upright. Lean to the back so as to stretch the leg long to the front. Flex the heels, point the toes down. Giving your legs a bit of time to loosen and circulation to flow. Before you fold the legs the other way around. Bringing the hands to the midline at the front ankle. And with a large exhale, sitting still quietly in time, not frozen, but in the same moment that moves forward. And a succession of moments moving forward and forward and forward while the body stays at the same place. In a certain sense, we go nowhere, and yet time seems to flow on and on and feel that we can play with those awarenesses until we find that we may be going somewhere in our mind body stays here and no time is passing whatsoever and yet nothing feels frozen it's more a connected oneness hard to describe with words but easier to sense hard to grasp and easier to connect with consciously <coughs> relax the head neck and shoulders take the largest breath big exhale and with a massive side breath feel a sense of oneness potential oneness with time and space dimensional awareness consciousness and from there we are relaxing down into the dog stretch that we felt just now arms forward head to the ground this time if possible, turn on the mat 
so that we are looking at the space between the thumbs forward and our stretch is taking us deeper into this position so the arms are straight forward if that's okay for you so that you're feeling the stretch between the shoulder blades so that you can take a large breath more effortlessly after the posture now we're in the thick of it it may feel a little bit difficult to take a deep breath big in big exhale and when we come upright on the inhale we tuck the toes under and then sitting as we're about to uh, start the sprint or like a crouching tiger we're on the hands with the toes tucked under and the knees are light on the ground big in big exhale and if your knees are low, we're going to use our hands to balance to bring us to balance on the toes and if you can't do that then of course you can just do it on high knees big in big exhale then taking one hand at a time to the back take one leg out to the front your right leg you're sitting on one heel this is dangerous if you have sore knees, injured knees or knees that are recovering from an injury change to the other side we're exploring what we could do with the body if we train more with it we're exploring potential bring the leg down use your fingertips to bring yourself back to the balance on the knees hands on the knees crown up chin tucked in so you're only on the fronts of your feet and toes and there are way more advanced yoga practices involving this balance we're not going there big and big exhale more difficult to do big and big exhale this is easier as we get into the practice the ease increases and we could go to a squat from there and sitting down sitting down we could take one leg up stretching the hamstring and we could take the leg down and stretch the other hamstring and then sitting with legs crossed and the palms open with our eyes closed and feel how you've taken yourself into a place in each joint that starts to increase the functionality of all the joints big and big exhale and the joints are mostly on the edges of our body top shoulders and the bottom at the hips and then we have the elbows and at the far reaches of our hands the wrists at the far reaches of our arms I meant the bottom of our legs the feet the toes and ankles which enables us to bring hands to the prayer to the center line and then with the eyes closed let's bring ourselves into awareness of the chakra system from the crown to the root from the root to the crown let's feel those outer edges the crown and the root chakra and breathe and feel at the middle hands in prayer at the heart chakra and the third chakra under it feel the collection of the chakra system then relaxing the shoulders take a very large breath in with a big exhale back of the neck long chin tucked in then breathe in the deepest breath with a big soft exhale sigh and in exactly the same position you're taking your arms up to above with the prayer position above your head and let your whole body and mind and position connect to the space above the crown 
we can't repeat the same position with the hands under us but we can visualize a mirror like image perhaps visualizing exactly the same way that we have the hands but under us so you're doing something that's physically not possible but we could easily imagine that which isn't possible physically so imagine another pair of hands doing the same under you deep in breath, big exhale and keep imagining that pair of hands at the top and the pair at the bottom and take the arms horizontally big in, big exhale and put the hands on the waist and the hips with the elbows to the sides and the hands down deep in breath, big exhales and I'm imagining three pairs three sets of hands one above, one below one and hands set at the hips big exhale and then adding a fourth one which we can do with the hands and the shoulders and the elbows up deep in breath, big exhale and we could continue to do that at many different angles and levels let's add two more now I'm starting to lose count here we got the arms up horizontally and a little higher big in, big exhale, reaching hands this time deep in breath and then take the hands to fingertips down to the sides touching the ground, crying up, chin tucked in biggest in breath, powerful through the nose, big strong out the nose and then bring the hands to the prayer, big in, big exhale, cross the legs around the other way so that it's a comfortable and easy position and with your eyes closed essentially when we swim across the surface of a lake or the ocean or a pool body of water, we use our arms with those big 360 degree angles so that we can move and our arms forming a big circle like big paddles that we can move forward with something similar happens when we run or walk big in big exhale takes us back to our beginning awareness of mobility functionality big in big exhale hands the prayer in the center relax your shoulders, feel connecting to the center, the center hub hub of our body at the heart chakra and our physical mobility being able to execute large powerful movements big and big exhale and rolling down to the ground and going up to a half bridge once you're in the half bridge you're keeping the hands down to fingertips under the back of the heels chin tucked in back of the neck long big ins big out breath big exhale relax the head neck and shoulders a lot more big side breath big exhale feel your physical capacity increase as you loosen you can roll one shoulder and then the other shoulder under big in big exhale, we can use the hands to lift up the thighs and buttocks with the hands under the lower back and buttocks you could be on the tips of your feet now, the toes, fronts of the feet big in big exhale, relax the head, neck and shoulders a lot more back of the neck longer when you roll down, let the spine roll to the ground then hug the knees with your head up to the knees put the hands back down and shake the legs up at the sky and shake the legs vigorously and the body is feeling the vibration of the movements shake the legs free much more big in big exhales, shake the legs a lot a lot of shaking and fast movements with big side breaths, big exhales and then when you come upright and inhale we're going to assert with the arms up next to the head at about a 45 degree angle to above the horizon feel the angles begin big exhale the legs are crossed to easy comfortable legs cross position from there taking the hands to grab a hold of the opposite foot on each side 
And then with the eyes closed, we're sitting quietly, with the head tilted forward slightly. And you're aware of your limbs, you're aware of the body, and you're also having awareness of the organs in the body. And then let your awareness include a greater awareness of the chakra system. And feel that as with the looseness, the flexibility, ease of your body now, you have an easy connection into the chakra system. And feel this important connection to the life force, the energy grid of your body. And then letting your mind play on not this simple connection of body, mind and energy flow, but more esoteric version of the chakras, which are often depicted in artwork as colorful, blended colors, swirling vortexes, vortices of colors and bright areas and dimensional pictures big in big exhale and thinking of beautiful star systems flowing rivers of consciousness which we can really only see with the mind's eye even if we've seen colorful pictures Relaxing the shoulders, feel the breath in the body, big sigh breath, feel the muscles of your body, big sigh breath. With the eyes open, uncross the legs to cross them the other way around. And then with the hands around the feet again, with the eyes open, feel the crown up and the chin tucked in so that you have awareness of your hands at the feet, so that you have awareness of the crown up and the chin tucked in. Then closing your eyes, take yourself to a awareness where we have what we perhaps refer to as psychic experiences that in our lives where we had a kind of an insight that has an ESP capacity, extrasensory, where we seem to know things that would ordinarily be physically hidden. It defies the laws of ordinary perception. Imagination is one of those. A simple ability to imagine fantastical possibilities or opportunities. Take the very largest breath and feel quite fantastic. In the way that we said, it's a fantastic day, it has energy potential, it's awesome, it's really beautiful. It's just a fantastic day to have a fantastic experience. Take the largest breath and powerful inhale, big exhale, feel that when we breathe, fantastic breath, we have vigor, we're in the vigor of the breath, we're taking the arms up to above, next to the head. And know that when we exhale, doing these practices in yoga, we purify the body with each exhale so that we can have a more fantastic experience as we bring the hands down in fists next to us and we're psyching ourselves up to be more psychic to have greater experience of breath and body and mind and we're burning up impurities so we can be more pure and have a more pure experience in our bodies and minds. Big exhales, let's go. Exhale faster, longer, a little faster if you want, a little slower if you need. Proceeding to just carry on building physical stamina and then having simultaneously many experiences of challenging, endurance, mobility, stamina, Big exhale, last one or two, three, and shake your arms out more free. And then having the hands to rub around the knees. So some of these energies 
that we are waking up in the body, enabling us to feel brighter. And more lucid, big exhale. And rub up and down the length of the thighs. And then loosely, soft knuckles, palms open, big exhale, relax the head, neck and shoulders. Sitting still in quiet awareness of our uprightness. And then sitting like this, realize that um, our ideal place for most people who like to read books, who love books, is a quiet place where you can spend the time just with you and your book and your imagination and the story and the fantasy of the story. And when the book is fantastic like that, you get absorbed in it and you're imagining being in different places. Big and big exhale, other than the quiet place that you're in. And at the same time, you sometimes have an awareness that you're actually lost in this quiet place, in the story. And we can feel, sense the dimensionality of that being, that way of being. Bringing the hands to prayer at the chest, feel that our yoga practice can transport us to different worlds, worlds within worlds. Big in, big exhale, relax the head, neck and shoulders, big out breath. Feel yourself transported into your own inner world. And then from there, we're going to go to a squat position with the feet a little wide. And then slowly bringing ourselves to a standing forward bend. Folded forward double fold with the knees bent and the head. Being able to swing loose, free, easy. Big exhale, still relaxed. Head hanging free, easy. Bend the knees to roll upright on the inhale. And then standing upright with the palms open next to you. And finding a place in your stance that has ease of the arms and the head, neck, and shoulders. Big in, big exhale, and then bringing yourself to the body design that we started to explore, experience, or design in the beginning of our session. Taking the hands up just a little bit wider, and then with the back of the neck long and the crown open to the spaces above us, the feet rooted into the ground under us. Feel your left side and right side and how it eases the whole of you. Two arms, two legs, two shoulders, two hips and one body. Then placing the feet wide as your yoga mat or a little wider than the hips. Relax the arms, shake it free. Raise up your right hand above your head. Then closing the other nostril. And stand with the legs slightly bent, but strong with the arches, strong with the thighs, but relaxed, strong. Deep in breath, big exhale, one nostril breath, only one time. Relax the arms. One nostril breath, only once, the other nostril. Other arm up, palm above you. Deep in breath, big exhale. Loosen the hands, shake the arms out. Bring the feet together at the ankle bones. And we're going to make an easy large twist to generate the flow. And we'll let the arms smack into your body. <coughs> big exhale. And with a big side of the body, come loose on the inside. There may be phlegm. There may be a chestiness. There may be a sense of not quite being free. Big exhale.
Swing down, we're gonna slow down until we come to a standstill and back to high knees. Bringing the right foot all the way forward. And then the hands on the knees, back foot, toes tucked under. We're gonna sink down to work the back hip into looseness. Feel that we're not beating the body into submission, but we're orienting it so that we become more loose, more relaxed and easier in it. Big exhale, so we're generating, working up ease in our body. Bring the leg back, change to the other side. Back foot toes tucked under, other foot to the front. And we're sinking into the back hip, down, chest open, easy breath. Big exhale, we're taking it easy, sinking a bit lower, going more. Relax your shoulders, see what you can do, see how it unfolds, what happens. Big exhale. And then both feet toes tucked under, hands on the lower back, leaning forward a little bit with the head chin tucked in. And then as you do in slow motion way, gain momentum, opening the chest, shoulders to the back, chest open. Deep in breath, big exhale, wide open chest, deep breath, big out breath. Then the arms out wide and chest wide open. Big in and out breath. And then the arms horizontal. Back foot, toes under, front foot. Steady. Let's see if we can come up. To a warrior stance like that, but with the arms outstretched. Bring the knee down at the back. Front leg goes to the back as well. The other foot goes to the front. We're lifting up in and out breath. Exhale back in the arm, chin tucked in. And then stepping together with the feet, with the fingers interlaced at the back. And we're going to wiggle the knees, big in, big exhale, big exhale. And bringing the hands to the prayer position stance at the front, with the back of the neck long and the chin tucked in. We're holding the support of the spine together for the hands at the front together. Back of the neck long, chin tucked in. Feel your physical support for yourself because you are yourself and you are in the body and you are dealing with your physical support system for yourself physically. Big out breath. Place the right foot forward and the hands at the front level foot. So I'll show you my side view, it'll be easier to follow. Leg at the front, hands at the level of the front foot, one leg far to the back, and your head down to the chin tucked in. Stretching the front leg as well as the back calf. Big and big exhale, bend the back leg a little bit and the front leg, step the feet together. Come upright and inhale to release tension and blood pressure from the chest. Other foot at the front, large in breath, let's have the arms up above the head. Big in, big exhale, and then leaning forward and down, and fingertips to the back foot. Heel can be off the ground, but pushing towards the floor, the head hangs forward down to the knee. Big in, big exhale. Two legs crossed and then sitting with the legs crossed. Big in, big exhale. And then putting the hands around the knees and the crown up. With your eyes closed, bringing yourself to this present moment in time. In our yoga session this morning. And let's uh, call up, recall our physical situation in this life, in this body, in our bodies as a collective, 
And as we sit in our bodies, we realize that there are several thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, billions of other human bodies. And the whole planet Earth teeming with human bodies in physicality. And the whole Earth has a massive gravitational field. Else, all these billions of people would just float off into space. Gravity suddenly stops. Begin big exhale. As you relax the body and the shoulders, feel that there's a looseness that comes about us when we relax into this gravity and sit upright simultaneously at the same time. And then feel as we increase our consciousness, which is a frequency, which is a vibration, it's a tuning in. We can literally, physically say it's true, we can tune into consciousness. It's awareness. Awareness is consciousness. Big in big exhale, we can say for sure, accurately, meditation is a tuning in of consciousness in the body. It's a meeting of spirit and body and mind because it's also mental. We're tuning in in this particular manner of yoga in the body, mind and spirit manner. Deep in breath, big exhale, let's press the knees towards the floor, towards the floor with the crown up and the chin tucked in, elbows a little bit to the back. Powerful body, strong breath, strong arms, and we're gently forcing the hips open. And we're gently leaning forward with the crown up and the chin tucked in. Big exhale. And then leaning to the back with one hand up and one leg up. Sorry, one hand to the back and one leg up. Deep in breath, exhale, and feel that the openness of the chest and the way that we lean helps us to lean into our body and the spaces that we are in, in our body, mind, physical life space. And we could be somewhat crooked, we could be somewhat struggling, but we are leaning into our physicality. And there may be a ease, a space of ease that opens up as we go along. Big exhale. Feel that this is what we call an embodied space. We're switching to the other side, embodying the same practice. You know, embodied practice of yoga. It's an, an embodied space. Chest open with a very large breath, big exhale. Long leg, palm open, chest open, deep breath. With a big exhale, relax the whole body. Softer shoulders. Relax the body a lot more. Big in, big out breath. With the more openness of the chest. Big in, big exhale. Softer back, head, neck and shoulder area. Inhale, we're going to hold the breath a second, then take the legs down long in the out breath, pointing the toes down as well. Pointing the toes at yourself. Let's see if you can reach the toes without stretching the back to a point where it feels like it's doing too much in the stretch. So if you're only reaching for your toes and you can't actually do it, then you can't. So there's where I'm at. I'm not being able to reach the toes easily. I'm just pointing my hands at my toes. When I bend the knees slightly, I can suddenly reach the toes. Let's release the shoulders. Big exhale. And bringing the legs to cross leg position. To twist gently with the crown up and the shoulders down. And then looking towards the back and looking around the corner to where behind your Lower back, inhale to the front, exhale, question of mobility, looking to the back, to 
see the space on the mat behind us. Turning forward. Big and big exhale. Hands are on the knees. Crown up, chin tucked in. And then, if you can, have a picture of yourself, whatever you're seeing, you don't have to change. Have a view on your own picture. Closing your eyes and then visualizing the yoga position as if we're looking at a yoga book. As if we're looking at the image like we do if we actually study the image in the book. So we have a self image and we have a picture of how we want to be. And we have an ideal and we have a reality and we have a fantasy. Fantastic experience of imagination, meeting the reality of our practice. Feel whatever you're experiencing in the body. Big and big exhale. Just the fact that we're alive sometimes feels fantastic. And sometimes the fact that we're alive feels way less than fantastic. These are just opposites or extreme experiences of what's possible. Being in big exhale, relax your shoulders. Deep in breath, big exhale. Relax your shoulders. Crossing the legs the other way around. And we'll do the same practice of a twist with the crown up and the chin slightly tucked in. In a twist to the side and look to the back. Feel that we're bringing about future ease in the body by doing the practice now. Change to the other side. We've done three twists, this is the fourth turn, and we're definitely increasing our flexibility in the long run. Turning forward, and with our legs in a deeper cross position, so that we can grab a hold of the toes, while folding our hands over the feet. Or if you need to have a variation of that, and for instance, bring the elbows to support the knees. We're still doing the same practice. We're practicing to have the future now, and we're taking care of the future now as much as we can. Big in, big exhale, and the exercise level, everyone has that experience at least once in your life, or maybe several thousand times. We went for a long walk and then felt stiff the next day. We've all had experiences of training and then getting fitter and looser and increasing our physical capacity. And every time we have these experiences, we're improving. We're working with the future and the present time. Begin with the exhale. So we're always in two places, the past and the now, are another version of two places, the future and now, begin big exhale, and then feel your best now, begin big exhale, by being mostly here, because there's probably a part of us that may not be thinking of the future, the slogan that we often use is future proofing, we're creating the best version of ourselves now. So that our self now doesn't become redundant. Big in, big exhale, deep breath in, big out breath. Relax your shoulders. So we're still dealing with this physical design and mental capacity to create the best physical design here and now. Big exhale, relax your shoulders, crown up, chin tucked in. Cross the legs the other way around. 
who feel in a certain level it may be a little bit implausible for us to imagine that we can keep our bodies in great shape for the next couple of years or decades but we want to at least entertain that possibility and also again simultaneously practice in such a way that we stand a chance, a sporting chance of having a functional, physical capacity for the longest time deep in breath, big exhale relax your shoulders, crying up, chin tucked in big side breath Feel awareness of the stillness, which is awareness of consciousness or conscious awareness. Feel how we sit into these spaces in our lives. We manage to have multi dimensional capacity, ability within our own body, mind, space, time, but also in our lives and within the cosmos indeed big in breath, big exhale and then when we make peace with how things are in our lives then we're at ease in the way that it is because that's what we can do and it's actually the best thing to do it is what it is there's no point being anything else Big exhale, relax the back of the neck and head, neck and shoulders relaxed, long and at ease. And we're going to take this body of shoulder joints, hip joints, feet and ankles through a couple of additional exercises and practices. It's only 10 o'clock and we've got a couple of minutes left to do a practice with. We're on the hands and the knees, on your mat in such a way that we can easily move. And we're going to lift up an opposite hand and foot and leg. So we've got one leg to the back, one arm to the front and opposites and one hand on the ground and one knee on the floor take the hand and knee down, change to the other side feel that we're loosening the body and increasing our strength and ease stay there, breathe in, breathe out bring the hand and knee down and out breath, change to one inhale to stretch and exhale, same breath, change inhale and change and keep going we're training to be more fit and more strong and we're moving in an opposite hand and opposite breath as well inhale to stretch big in big exhale opposite side hands in breath exhale down in breath reach <coughs> excuse me big side breath keep going big side breath hands and knees down in breath opposite hand and foot out breath to the ground, inhale to open up. Now work with your maximum capacity and strength. Feel that you're moving more cat-like and athletically, uh, not in greater restriction, greater ease. Don't hold yourself rigid. We're aiming to increase our flexibility, mobility, uh, agility. Feel that you're becoming more agile right now. Big exhales. Right, inhale, reach maximum stretch and stay there the next time. And then see if you can increase the stretch with your toes to the back and the hands forward, crown leaning forward, chin tucked in. And release. Catch your breath, big exhale. Do the other side to the maximum, absolute maximum. You're having a fantastic stretch. Crown forward, chin tucked in. Deep in breath, point, balance. Exhale, ease, hands and knees to the ground. Now perhaps you could tuck the toes in and under and easily sit. Big exhale on your toes. So if you still have an injury because you had one in the beginning of the session and you can't do this and you can't and it serves as best to accept that we do something else like be on high knees. But if you can do this then great. 
Big and big exhale, we're moving forward to pose of child with the feet to the back and onto the forearms and folding your legs, exhale, so that your face is down and from a side view perspective if you wanted to make sure your back is rounded up chin is tucked in, you fold it to the ground and in that position you are staying with your eyes closed and your awareness internally and that's a retreat into the roundedness of your back awareness of the face to the ground awareness of your body against the floor big exhale awareness of yourself how you are, how it is now and then from there we're coming up to the inhale two legs long at the front with the legs a little bit wide easy in, easy out breath sitting with the legs in an easy not a sitting split which is with the legs super wide but just a little bit wide crying up, chin tucked in big in and out breath stretching gently towards not all the way to the one ankle and gently towards not all the way to the other ankle And gently towards the center, feet a little bit wider if it feels possible, comfortable, doable. We could go a bit left and right and to the side and forward with the head coming down now. Swing or shake and loosen the head, big exhale. And then from there, let's take the legs to the back. And Lying with the arms forward and the forehead to the mat, chin tucked in. And then take the arms to next to the body, palms open, chin to your right side shoulder. And you're lying with your face down, chin to the right shoulder and the body free of tension. You lie flat face down, large in and a big exhale. And you're lying in such a way that you're 100% sure that your body is completely relaxed or as relaxed as one can be. And with that large breath in and the big exhale, the legs are long to the back, the toes are tucked in and the heels are wider. And what we're allowing is gravity. We're allowing gravity in so that the body can loosen. We're letting our hips become loose and free and the hands soft next to the hips and then you're experiencing a softness of the back of the neck and sides of the head and shoulders and the idea, the aim, the purpose, the feeling, sensation that all overlap into a greater ease of being which may be relative to your own discomfort but we're creating comfort, comfort with the relative perhaps discomfort begin big exhale you're turning the head to the other side direction back of the neck long and the chin tucked in we're breathing in and we're breathing out. Big exhale. And with that relaxed ease, we're taking in the largest possible breath to allow for the most possible ease, relax, comfort, looseness. deepest in and the big side breath relax the body even more 
and that breath is also activating as well as releasing tension so from there you can flip over onto your back to turn the other way around and you're lying on your back now with the legs long flipping over onto your back for ordinary yoga savasana big in big exhale and feel how the front space of your body is opening up Feel with the palms open and the chest open, you can breathe and feel with the body space open at the chest. You have the opportunity to relax into gravity. Feel when you take the largest breath and you hold the breath in and bend the knees, feet to the ground. You will be able to relax on the exhale with soft lower back for comfort. Big exhale. And then hugging the knees. Then roll upright on the inhale, but there's no rush, no hurry. Don't have to be quick. Begin, big exhale. And then just sitting to face your screen or camera or wherever you see me at. Bringing hands to prayer with the eyes closed position. And bringing ourselves to this place in our current physicality. Here now. And in a certain sense, our value or currency is in this current moment. This is where we are at here and now. So our greater potential is also here. That includes our body design and how we want to be in the future. Without thinking about the future, projecting into it, without planning for it, we do all of that while we're in the present moment. And it's a way of being that we can explore in our bodies and minds beyond this current session, but we do get a kind of a training or awareness this way for it. Begin breath, big exhale. And then slowly opening the eyes. All right, thank you very much. I just want to say quickly that uh, it's, a, it's a really useful practice to tune in um, in a meditation to this place where we can uh, prepare for the future without um, worrying about the future or we can project into the future without doing that. So it, that seems to not make sense and as I say, uh, st uh, that kind of concept is best not conceptualized but experienced. So when we're in a deep state of meditation it's because we're deep in that state of meditation and we can feel by being at peace here and now and being at peace for the future that's perhaps the best preparation we can have for the future. So same when we're fit and we're healthy that's our best protection for discomfort not because things aren't going to happen to our health or accidents aren't going to happen but because you're then best placed so that's also a moral high ground when you're in the moral high ground you have the best possibility or chance to make the right decisions for instance whereas if you're in the murk and you have no, uh, in the murk uh, of life or the, the thick of ugliness or whatever you want to call it uh, then you're going to have a harder time to make a positive decision for instance generally speaking Although things <laughs> work in such extremes that sometimes we're at the worst place we can make the best decisions. Um, but normally that is because you're prepared for it as well. To ask energetically for greater power, you can call it prayer if you want, you can call it angelic realm assistance. 
you can call it logic for that matter, where we can just tune into the present moment and align ourselves more powerfully so that we can have a, for the sake of a future outcomes based model, a, a more positive outcome. Um, because in a certain sense we are in a linear world where we want a positive outcome and we need to do certain things. We're not just sitting here going like, hey, if I'm really unconscious, things are going to be okay. It's more like, hey, if I'm really conscious in the physical, we have a better chance of being okay. Okay.